this is Bryce Sinti, and today we are going to be looking at Beetlejuice. This video is called Beetlejuice Goes Supernova by Bryce Sinti. This is Orion, and this is Beetlejuice. Can anyone see Orion, this, the constellation? It's really hard. This is Orion the Hunter. I just showed you this picture, but I wanted to show you the details as, they, as it connects. This is the arrow, this is the arm, shoulders, this is the body, the legs, and the other arm. The red supergiant Beetlejuice marks the hunter's shoulder, right here. This is Beetlejuice, and this is Rigel as the right foot. But we're not going to be talking more about that in this video. We can talk about it in a later video, but not in this video. Beetlejuice is one of the brightest stars in our night sky. And recently, it's been a lot dimmer. Beetlejuice, the supergiant star, is more than 500 times bigger than our sun. This little black dot here, that's our sun. This big sun, that's Beetlejuice. Yeah. And another graph right here is the sun, Rigel, Beetlejuice, and Tris. Um... Rigel's pretty small compared to Beetlejuice, but still really big. This is star distances, and these all make Orion. But these are all way different, way different. At just under 500 light years away, Beetlejuice is the closest of Orion's two brightest stars. It's really close. Orion's most noteworthy feature is is it has three star belt right there. And just below the belt is a fainter row of three stars, oriented vertically, almost straight up and down, like that. This is the middle one. The middle star of that looks a bit fuzzy. If you look through a telescope, you will see the gaseous glow of a nebula. This is where new stars are born. This is a close-up of Orion's nebula. Pretty awesome. This is a supernova. It's the opposite of a nebula. And this is where it explodes. Not gets born. Explodes. When Beetlejuice explodes, it will release more energy in an instant than our sun will make in its lifetime. That's pretty. That's a lot of energy. Beetlejuice's bizarre dimming has astronomers scratching their heads. One of the night sky's brightest stars is now the faintest it's been in a century. A hundred years. Astronomers aren't sure what it means. This is Betelgeuse again in the constellation. The big question on everyone's mind is whether the star is about to go supernova and explode. This would be visible from Earth. It's a lot of light. When it explodes, it'll be spectacular. A once-in-a-lifetime chance. Actually, a one-in-a-century lifetime chance. The explosion will be as bright as the full moon. You know how big a full moon is? And you know how bright it is? Really bright. It will shine during the day for weeks or months until it fades away. And it's during the day. That means, like, you know when you see the moon during the day? It's going to shine for a few weeks or months during the day. Because the star is around 500 light years away from the Earth, it might be that Betelgeuse goes have already gone supernova. And this over here is my art project, and this is Betelgeuse. And it takes 600 years for the light to travel from Betelgeuse. So when you look up at the sky, this Betelgeuse, that light, was 600 years ago, so it might have already exploded.